Cancer, welcome to your January 2021 energy update, advice and messages. Let's see what we have in store for you in this month. Now I've already prepared some oracle cards for you. We have the boundaries card. We have the gratitude card, beautiful. We have self-reflection. Strength inspiration reconciliation we got the ace of earth the eight of fire and the page of water wow beautiful energy can definitely see where this is going so first of all um cancer there is a lot you can expect especially i feel like you've done a lot of inner work last year and this is definitely showing itself but not only that, also with the strength card here, I feel like there's a lot inside of you, you know, a lot you want to create, a lot, you know, you want to, um, you know, spread basically to the world. And there is definitely a new beginning here, especially with, you know, the Ace of Earth card right here. Let me show you. Yeah, there's definitely a new beginning for you. But um, not only that, what I'm also getting is that you know, for you, this month is all about laying foundations, you know, laying um, sta stability, you know, secure grounds, which you can build something off, you know. Also with the seven of fire, I feel like the universe is really telling you to step your game up because, yeah, there's a lot of bravery here. You know, a lot of um, removing from, you know, the past and just uh, remaining in the present moment. Yeah, like a breakthrough. Yeah, I definitely see that. I feel like there's all, you know, all, also with this light right there. I feel like there is a lot, you know, a lot um, you want to do a lot. Also for this year now, especially because we're talking about 2021 January. Yeah, definitely. So there is a lot you would love to um, bring to life. And yeah, again, with a self-reflection, I feel like you've done a lot of inner work last year. And there is definitely... Uh, you can definitely be very proud of yourself because you have done a lot. I feel like there was a lot you have released when it comes to um, patterns and also emotional baggage. And also what I'm feeling is that this is definitely a great month for you um, to, you know, have a new beginning when it comes to romance. Now, I know, you know many of you may be in lockdown, but, you know, this may be something that um, comes, uh, you know, to life online even but yeah also with the page of water yeah i'm definitely getting this with a page of water you know the page of water is someone is very childlike energy very innocent you know and i feel like this is what you're supposed um to do this month you know be becoming cheerful you know getting out of this energy and just being um cheerful you know for a new beginning which is um very possible also in love i'm definitely seeing that a big time but yeah i'm seeing a lot of abundance also also with the eight of fire you know it talks about progress which is needed so i feel like you're very um definitely called you know to um to continue you know to find something new you know to bring something into life you know finding the solutions for problems maybe but definitely yeah the universe let me get some more information the universe is definitely telling you to step your game up oops a lot of cards here let's like, see yeah we got the ace of earth again this is a great sign for you definitely new beginnings are coming for you yes let's see yeah you got the medicine woman which is the high priestess and the medicine woman you know also talks about initiation healing and visionary power I feel like again with the um, with the inspiration card, there is a lot you have to offer, and the universe is really telling you to step your game up. You know, to show what you have to offer. Stop playing small. You know, start really, yeah, be thankful what you have, and stop. You know, with this lack mindset, they basically concentrate what what you can deliver and not what you cannot. Let me see. Okay, yeah, we got the father of fire. Find a passion for life for sure. You know, the Father of Fire is also, again, a visionary. These two cards talk about visionary. Yeah, you will, you know, there is some kind of motivation and willpower here, which has to be um, lightened, you know, inside of you, which you 
should um, bring to life, basically. Let me see some more. Wow, guys. Oh, my. you got the Ten of Earth, which is the Ten of Pentacles. Guys, whatever this is, you know, you may have an idea, but people may have told you, you know, to play small because uh, you will not achieve that anyways. So you may want to start something online or you have an idea or you just have a passion for something. You want to inspire people or you just want to start something new, a new career, whatever it is. There is a definitely a very good outcome here. I see a lot of abundance, a lot of achievements, you know, which can come from something creative, definitely. Also, romantically, there is a great opportunity coming for you. <gasps> I'm out. Oh my God. Guys, you got the two of water, which is the two of cups. The love card. Wow. Yeah, guys, you can meet someone very significant, very significant to you. Or maybe this person's already in your life and you will just take this to the next level. Definitely let me know. I would love to. Oh, too many cards. Yeah. Wow, this is this is awesome. There is a lot of positivity here. I just feel like you need to step your game up, you know. Let me see. Yeah, you got the Father of Fire, which is the King of Cups. So this can... Wow, we got... <laughs> this just turned on in, into a love reading, guys. So definitely, I feel like they may become a person, you know, someone who's very mature emotionally. This person is not playing around, definitely not. This is something serious. Let me know if you already know this person. But this is a great opportunity but you really need to get you know, rid of all this negativity which is still there, which is holding you back because this will only um, hold you back from, you know, um, vibrating higher. All right. Yeah, you got the sun card and the daughter of fire. Yeah, definitely. And like, you know, get get rid of the stagnation and start with your passion. You have the daughter of fire and the father of fire. Yeah, and with the sun card also, there is a lot happening for you. A lot of great stuff coming your way. Wow, we have the transformation card also. Yeah. Wow, guys. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Wow, yeah. I feel like January 2021 is going to bring you a lot of emotional and also when it comes to your finances, you know, you may start something new, but this is also something um, creative. So definitely, guys, if you're thinking about something, you know, about doing something, maybe online, some kind of business, some kind of creativity, this could even be, you know, just starting a YouTube channel or doing something, um, you know, maybe you're an artist or just whatever this is, maybe even just um, doing something at home. But whatever this is, the universe is definitely telling you to do so because there's a lot of abundance here and there's a high chance for you to start something romantically or if you already have something romantically, um, guys, if you already have something romantically happening for you, this is definitely a great sign for you to take it to the next level. Yeah, a lot of great opportunities, a lot of new beginnings, guys. This is great. Now, please let me know how this resonated with you. The energy is definitely great. A lot of, you know, fresh energy, a lot of new beginnings. Great for, you know, uh, January 2021 to start a new year with, basically. So, yeah, guys, let me know how this resonated with you. And, yeah, I will see you in February. <laughs> Bye, guys.